reading. Without reading, there's no understanding writing. There's no books, there's no magazines, there's no cereal boxes with the ingredients on it. There's no prescription drug warnings with dire warnings about what to eat and what other drugs not to take. This is a book review channel. As such, reading is critical to what we do here. But what is reading? Well, we're going to try and find out right now. So, what is reading? Well, a quick search of Google turns up a series of really dry definitions of reading geared toward educators, much like this one. Reading is the process of constructing meaning through the dynamic interaction among the reader's existing knowledge, the information suggested by the written language, and the context of the reading situation. Boring. Is that really what we think about when we want to settle in for an evening of reading? The mechanics? Or is there something being missed? Maybe there's a little bit more romance involved. So aside from the mechanics of constructing meaning, blah, 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 there is romance to reading. What do I mean by romance? Oh, Romeo! No, not that kind of romance! When we talk about romance, we often mean we're describing something in an idealized or unrealistic fashion. We're making something seem better than it really is. Let's face it, some of us view Thanksgiving as the best holiday of the year. But a lot of work goes in to making that feast. Still, I romanticize the hell out of that holiday. Think of it as a bubble within the rest of my life that allows me to have my family and loved ones near me. Maybe not this year, but still, I like Thanksgiving. So what we're talking about then is creating both a setting to comfort ourselves and a escape from our mundane lives. To be honest, defining reading simply as the mechanics is a little bit like defining driving as guiding an internal combustion engine with four wheels and a steering wheel. It's true, but it doesn't encompass everything that is driving. about creating a romantic bubble that separates you from the rest of the grind. In that, reading isn't just an escape, it's protection from anxiety, depression, and stress created by the rest of the world. 
sort of like cozying up with a cup of peppermint tea, some incense, and a good book. Where is my book? Where are my glasses? Well, I'm going to go get my book and my glasses and settle in for some reading. Let me know down below what you do to create your bubble for reading. Also, if you really like this, give me a thumbs up, a little thumbs up icon, hit me a like. And if you want to follow along for more reading related and book related videos, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so well you can know every time I upload. With that, I'll see you next time.